Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2020. How are you doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. And we're starting off the month very strong here. We have the Sun card. Blessings, hidden blessings coming towards you. Uh, this is an opportunity to shine, Pisces. Now, the obstacle to overcome is the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords, I feel that this is not external energy. I feel that this has more to do with your energy, Pisces. For some of you guys, it could be that you're currently working through uh, a lot of healing. So for some of you guys, it could be like doing shadow work, working on your shadow, uh, working on past traumas or uh, self-healing. Um, but this can also represent the obstacle to overcome here, Pisces, is your ego. So I think that for the month of October, it's going to be very important for you to be tactful in the way you communicate or you express your emotions or express yourself to other people. It could be that you have a tendency of being extremely negative or uh, you have a tendency of being very self-negative with yourself. As an example, you often find yourself or catch yourself being very negative to yourself, uh, saying certain things like, I should have known better. Um you know, I messed up, I should have known, th th this expectancy of I should have known. And what they're telling you here is that you need to try the best you can to uh, mitigate that type of energy, to try to help yourself raise your vibration. And the only way to do that is to remain optimistic and positive. Now, the next card here is the Three of Wands, expansion in the horizon or the desire to expand. There is a desire within you, Pisces, for this month of October to want to grow and want to expand, but you also have the hanged man. So the hanged man represents feeling a bit stuck or feeling restrictive. So again, if... Okay, so what they're telling me here is that for a lot of you guys, this is goals, aspirations, desires that you're wanting to achieve or that you're wanting to do. The hanged man represents your negative energy, your negative self-talk, your negative behaviors that you do that currently hinder the progression of the blessings that come to you. This could even be like something that you have, as an example, if you look back, if you pray or if you've asked the universe or if you've declared or you've stated things that you want to happen or you want to bring into your life and then they finally come through instead of showing some type of gratitude or instead of being extremely positive and being thankful you find often situations as an example oh why did it have to happen now it's a little bit inconvenient or as an example um why couldn't it have happened like what why couldn't it why couldn't this have happened uh a week or two weeks from now which is more uh a little bit better for me or stuff like that it's like what they're saying here is that you got to show gratitude. You have to be thankful for certain things that you've asked for and they have been granted. Now, for others of you, it could represent opportunities that you've asked for. As an example, growth within your business, growth within the company that you work for, uh, being able to um, take on opportunities that may arise that you hoped for or that you were praying to achieve. And finally, when they do, there's always like, there's always a feeling of it could have been better. And what they're saying is that this has a lot to do with your state of mind. And this has a lot to do with your subconscious mind. So there is something within you that has a tendency of either being extremely negative or um, not being grateful. And it's not that you do it purposely, Pisces. It could just represent that there is something that was triggered in the past, perhaps past experiences, perhaps a feeling like things just wouldn't fall into place or better things would fall in the lap of other people. And you have a tendency for some of you guys to even compare your success or compare where you're at in life. And what Spirit is telling you is you need to stop doing that. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. So a lot of stability in regards to finances coming your way uh but with the four of swords again i think that meditation would highly highly help you guys um for this month of october i think that you guys are extremely imbalanced uh what they're showing me here is almost a feeling of like restlessness feeling very tired 
not being clear headed when making decisions. And all of this could be because there's either lack of sleep, as an example, if you're restless or lately you've been feeling like you're tossing and turning at night, having difficulty to go to bed. All of this could be because your mind is completely, um, completely wandering off. And it's like there is a need, highly need for you to ground yourself, Pisces. Uh, I would highly encourage you guys to do meditation or to go by the ocean, to go by um, anything that is streaming water because that is your element and it will help you uh, clear that type of energy or a cleansing would also help. Now, the advice here is you have the judgment card and the world card. So there is a major transformation that's happening with you, Pisces. For some of you guys, it's a conclusion of some type of partnership or some type of relationship where... Uh, it could have been a relationship that was convenient. So when I say convenient, it could have been a person that either was taking care of you or was providing for you, um, although you dealt with all kind of BS. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with the person that is married or you recently found out that the person you were dealing with is actually in a committed relationship. Um, so there is a decision that's going to be made and the world card does signify the conclusion or coming of an ending of this connection. But this can also represent clarity. Things uh, coming out in the open, things that were being kept hidden, things that we're not being completely honest about. Uh, this could be you or this could be your partner. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term uh, committed relationship that is of a distance, be careful, you guys, because... If this is you dealing with other people, I do see news coming about or your partner finding out. Uh, this could represent like being spotted somewhere with someone that you're not supposed to be with, that type of energy. So be very careful with that. Now, if this is your partner um, and news comes to you, uh, especially if they have a tendency of traveling or if your partner is at a distance from you, it could be that you find out in October that they haven't been completely honest or completely transparent with you, uh, that they may be actually, in fact, dealing with other people. Here's the advice for this month. Try the best you can to be motivated and to remain positive, Pisces. Try the best you can to keep yourself away from drama or from starting drama. I think that with the world card and the judgment card, you can come off a bit harsh. Um, or you can, people can call you out on your BS in, in a sense, like if you have a tendency of starting rumors or if you have a tendency of blowing things a little bit out of proportion. And I'm, speakly, uh, I'm uh, speaking directly about uh, people around you or friends and relatives that are around you. Uh, try the best you can to remain positive and optimistic. Keep, keep away from toxic people. It's very important for this month to teach yourself to be positive and to show a bit of gratitude when the universe brings to you opportunities that you've been asking for. Um, now, in regards to partnerships and relationships, again, like I said, if you're in a committed relationship and it's you the one that's dealing with the third party, be careful as news can travel very quickly. Uh, for those of you guys that are dealing with a partner that's from a distance or that travels often because of work, do not be surprised if things come out in the open that are speaking directly about the person dealing with other people or stepping out of the relationship, okay? I'm going to be completely transparent and honest with you guys. So I hope this gives you some type of clarity, some type of insight. I hope that you try the best you can to make October the best month. As of yet, we've been, we've been tested, you guys. Try to remain optimistic and positive. Let's put positive energy into the universe. I wish you guys the very best, and I want to wish you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Bye.